know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go along. I think everybody is. We all have to figure it out from the start. One effective method is to copy, or as Pablo Picasso would say, steal. It's a great way to seem like you know what you're doing, but who to steal from? In the early stages of what became the polymath, I looked to those that inspired me, and at the time I was consuming a lot of The Nerd Writer, a YouTube channel that produces weekly video essays about art, science, movies, pop culture, a lot of different things. I wanted to emulate his style, his cadence, his success, but I ran into a problem pretty early on. He's really good. Look at it, with the editing and the animations, such deep concepts and varied subjects. I can't do that. Now, I hate that phrase. Partly because of my experience with parkour classes in which if you say any of these words, never, can't, couldn't, you have to do 10 push-ups. And partly because of why you do the push-ups in the first place. Allowing for the negativity of this kind of phrasing plants a seed of powerlessness that can keep you from doing something even though you probably could have done it in the first place. So I found myself at this moment saying, I can't do that. And I knew from the moment I uttered the words that I needed to figure out how. The best way I could think of doing that was to go back and look at where the nerd writer started to find out how Evan Pushak became the nerd writer. Quick backstory for context, Evan Pushak. That's Poo, then Shack. Um, yeah, my childhood was tough. 29 years old, lives in LA, has a great beard, sometimes, went to film school to become a filmmaker. He found after a few student films that he didn't like the cooperation and collaboration of the medium of film. He describes himself as a fascist when it comes to his art. He didn't like that in film you have an initial idea that inspires you to make it a reality, and then through the process of making that idea a reality, you watch the slow degradation of that initial idea. So Evan decides he wants to start writing fiction books. He moves to Paris for the summer, like you do, and he writes his first novel, Big City. I haven't read it yet, Evan, but I promise I will. So here's the really interesting thing for me. Evan starts to wonder how to do this whole book-selling author thing, and he looks to one of his idols, John Green, a multiple-time best-selling author and co-creator of the immensely popular YouTube channel, The Vlog Brothers, which he runs with his brother Hank. You may have heard of them. The channel has enough views to account for one-tenth of the population of Earth. So Evan notices that John Green's books sell out so quickly for a couple reasons. One is that they're just good, and two, because he has a devoted community of online subscribers to his YouTube channel. The members of this community, called Nerdfighteria, call themselves Nerdfighters. Evan Pushak is a Nerdfighter. I'm a Nerdfighter. And a writer. And a writer. A Nerdfighting writer. A nerd writer. Boom. Evan starts his channel on September 30th, 2011 with this video. He starts it as a vlog to build a community to support his book selling ventures, trying to emulate John Green. Side note, this was really cool to recognize. Someone who I wanted to copy so that I could look like I knew what I was doing, copied someone else so that he could look like he knew what he was doing. It's clear when you look at his first videos that he was emulating the Vlogbrothers. The fast edits and cutting out any silences between his cuts, they're just a little bit silly to add some emotional protection against that paralyzing fear of starting something so scary. I mean, you're putting a video of yourself talking to yourself on the internet for strangers to see, that required some armor. If you're used to the Nerd Writer's more recent videos, watching these from the beginning of the channel can seem antiquated, dull, maybe even bad. But it's important to remember that everything the Nerd Writer will grow to be comes from this video. I think that one thing that makes the Nerd Writer so inimitable is that Evan makes a concentrated effort in every video to continually self-improve. He said in interviews and end screens that his goal is to make next week's video better than the last. And it shows. If you look at the channel as a whole, remove the content and just look at the techniques and processes, you can see a clear evolution. From the webcam to a proper camera and microphone. From his office to a white background to outside to the sofa to the narration that we know now. 
Over time, the vlog grows and then outgrows the name vlog. It becomes something completely other. He starts to make essays on art and culture, and that grows into essays on anything. This shifting and changing is something that Evan is wonderful at. He allows for change, to remove himself from stymie, to invigorate his passion, and to expand the project that is the nerd writer. This is known as iterative change. And the proper definition isn't important here. All you need to know is that the second time you do something is going to be better than the first. And the same goes with the 213th. Evan left filmmaking and started writing fiction because he wanted to take an idea and through effort and intention and iteration, make that idea better. That's what he did with his writing, and that's what he's done with the Nerd Writer. When you zoom out and look at the Nerd Writer as if it were one big project, with hundreds of iterations, you see how each of those iterations carved away anything that wasn't the Nerd Writer. This notion that an idea can come out fully formed, that your idol is just better than you at something, is flawed. In all likelihood, they started exactly where you are. They've just had those opportunities to iterate. Looking back at someone's older work can give you a better understanding of their trajectory and further shows us that everybody starts at zero. Thank you so much for watching. I had a wonderful time making this video. It's been raining all week here in New Zealand, but it's finally a sunny day now that I'm done editing. Um, thank you to the Nerd Writer for the inspiration for this video. It was so much fun getting to watch all of your older videos and all of your newer videos and all of the all of your videos. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe down below. If you're on mobile, there's a little bell that you can click to get notifications um, for all of the new videos that I put out. A special thanks to my patrons, who without whom it would make it incredibly difficult in order to make these. If you yourself want to support the channel and help me make more videos, you can pledge to me on Patreon. There's a link down below. Um, anything from a dollar a video, and it, it really does help, and get access to um, special stuff like book reviews and anything else that you want. Now I know I'm I'm pulling at a limited crowd at the moment, but if you know Evan Pushak, or if you have a Twitter account, you can tweet him at the Nerd Writer, and I, I want to try and get him to see this video just to see if he liked it. Um, cool. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.